What is y'all infatuation with black men booty? Four police officers held this man down and stuck their baton up in him over and over again. Not because he was out there robbing people or trying to hurt somebody. This man was a youth worker. He worked with kids. He wasn't out there violating. And what makes this worse is the whole thing was captured on camera. It's like police is going nationwide with this. I thought it was just over here in America. But this is happening over there in London. And if sticking y'all baton in him wasn't enough, y'all kicked and punched him between his legs. It's like it's personal with y'all. And I just don't get it because to me, if we as me, people that look like me, if we is something that you don't like, if we something that disgusts you, why do you want to violate us in that way? Why is that the way that you choose to show me how much you don't like me by messing with my manhood, by messing with my my booty? Like, what's going on with y'all? I'm starting to feel like y'all don't dislike us. I'm starting to feel like y'all in love with us because the only time a man would touch another man in that way is if there's some type of attraction to him. You don't violate people like that, that you claim you don't like. This is just sad to me on so many different levels. This man said he had to stay in the hospital for 10 days. Said when he left the hospital, he had to leave in a wheelchair. He couldn't stand up. He said he was still sore. And as much outrage as I feel about what happened to him, and as much as I'm on his side, I disagree with him at the same time. And the thing that make me disagree with him is him saying, I don't want anybody to be angry. I don't want anybody to be upset. I forgive them. I take that personal because when things like this happen, we got to stop all of that forgiving, man. We ain't going to never get justice if we always want to forgive all the time. And I'm not saying you can't get justice first, though. When police officers and, you know, other groups of people get attacked and get hurt, they get justice. Before they get on TV and before they start doing these interviews talking about how much they forgive the person who violated them, they first want justice. And until we get that type of mindset to where it's justice first, these type of things going to keep happening to us because they already know all we're going to do is say, I forgive you. I forgive you. Nah. Nah. Certain things, bro, we can't just push to the side. And the reason it can't be because if they get away with doing you like that, they going to feel like it's okay to do somebody else the same way. And we ain't going for it. So I'm not going to let you set the tone as far as with this forgiveness thing. With they, I'm going to be more mad about what happened to you than you is. Because to me, bro, they violated you. And I don't care how much money they offering you behind the scenes. I don't care how much those cops said that they suffering from mental illness and all of that. I don't care about nothing like that. They violated you, bro. And we ain't going to let that go. I don't care if you want to let it go. We ain't going to let it go. Because we feel like if... They get away with doing that to you. They're going to try to do that to us. Four police officers sticking a baton in you. Embarrassing you. All in the name because they say they don't like you. They don't like your color, but still they want to do something sexual.